Alright, everything looks good. Let's get started. Pretty surf team here. Uh, today I am trying out the park. Um, this is completely blind. I know it's been out for a while. I, I went to play it a while ago. Old computer could not run it. Uh, I've made sure not to uh, watch anyone else's playthrough. And I just want to check some settings here. Uh, audio. Subtitles. I want subtitles on. I turned this on once just to get the slider thing set up and everything, so I should be good to go. Parks and narrative experience best played in dark room or in headphones. There's a subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. So in the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio control setting, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be any cause for alarm or psychiatry. I'm really hoping this works. Because I honestly have no idea. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. All right, it looks like it's working. Sensitivity seems fine. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Press the left mouse button to interact. Examine plaque. Um, am I not doing it right? Okay, I'm confused, and my mouse is no longer in the window as far as I can tell. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, hold on. Gameplay. I got nothing. All right, continue game. Okay, weird. Something I'm gonna have to keep an eye on. Examine, examine. Tom was born there the day go. this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their towns to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May, 1977, James B. Longley. I don't know why my mouse ended up... Huh. It's supposed to be working now. I guess we'll have to keep an eye on. Can't go through there. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, this is creepy. Granted, it is a hard game, but still. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. 
Don't blame yourself, Zorea. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Thank you. Alright, so now I can go in. I just needed to get to the information desk. Also, I'm, I'm apparently really, really blind because I should have noticed that. Pressing, press right click to shout Callum. Callum provides audible and visual Callum, cues. Callum, where are you Guide. going? Over here! and unlocked. Welcome to the park. Yeah, you're not creepy at all. Nathaniel Winter. Callum, where are you going? Catch me, mommy. Read flyer. I like the shot mechanic. Atlantic Island Park. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island, I fell deeply in love with its natural beauty. It's a scenic place, and I created many of my best memories here. I wanted to create a place that captures the essence of Solomon Island, a place where families would bring their children to create memories of their own. I invite you to explore this park that we have created from the Ferris wheel which rivals the local lighthouse for the best views of the area, to the sideshow alley where we have fascinating games and objects from the local area to explore, enjoy Nathaniel Winter. Chad the Chipmunk recommends the little ones try the Tunnel of Tales, a gentle family friendly retelling of timeless fairy tales. If that sounds a little too slow, grab an adult and jump on the bumper corral, full throttle fun for everyone. For the teens, pump up your adrenaline by, by going through spin cycle on the Octotron. Then defy the laws of gravity on our award-winning roller coaster. Finish it all up with the House of Horrors, but be warned, it might scare all the fun out of you. For the big ones, take a moment, take a romantic spin on the Ferris wheel with your significant other and take in the natural beauty of Sullivan Island. Follow it up with a stroll through the exotic sights and wild games of the Sideshow Alley. There truly is something for everybody at Atlantic Island Park. Once you've left Atlantic Island Park, there is still so much to do here on Solomon Island. We sent this brochure to our local businesses to save big money. Places to eat, Sunshine Deli, whether a light snack or something more substantial, the Sunshine Deli can find a way to satisfy your craving. 555-1743. Susie's Diner, laid back dining in the heart of Kings Kingsmith. Susie's the place to go to meet friendly locals and sample her famous camp preserves. 555-1362. Need to check on something. Okay, we're fine. Lobster trap, place to okay. Enough of the flyer. Whoops. There we go. Got out something I didn't Callum, want to actually I told get out. Of. Wait in the car. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. I'm actually curious how much further go I'd end up getting here. Special about the entrance to an amusement park: a line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Oh, that looks safe. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. The What What just happened? Why do I need to run? Callum? You can't catch me. Come back, Callum. I'm assuming that's the haunted house. 
Stop, Callum! I'm also not sure why that slowed me down. Stop, Callum! Callum, where are you? This way. Shoo. I think this belongs to Callum. Apparently I'm going the right way then. Where are you? Over here. The plaque. Oh, what? Hello, oh, hold on. Oh, it's a floodlight. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even see the past. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Great. Wait for mommy. Come on this way. Handwritten note. Okay. What is this about? Um. Is it no? It's usually a way that you can. I was hoping for a uh, readability mode, but apparently not. Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add whatever old R.T. Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name. Had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do to this island, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old, old man Henderson did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. It is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Uh, and I heard creaking. Come back, Callum. This way, Mommy. Come back. Come on, Mommy. Also, not liking how often it's auto saving. What was that? Come to mommy, Callum. Callum, where'd you go? Callum, Come stay on, where mommy. you are. Callum. Ugh. Just noise, and it's already terrifying me. Come out, sweetie. Callum? Oh, I don't like this. Callum! Where did you go? I still don't know what that roar thing was. Tell him. Tell mommy where you are. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor, and had very little to bite or sup. What Alan, will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow, what? and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, 
Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and I wonder why the white boat stones hit something. The boat hit something. Pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Which version of the ending are we going with? Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Uh, why do I get an achievement called Chad? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, that cannot be good. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Oh, I don't like that. I also don't like that I can't see anything. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I wonder how this relates to uh, Lorraine here. For you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed well, at least we're almost out of this thing. And together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, 
the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled and the witch was cooked. Okay. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets. Yep, I had a feeling it was going to be that ending. The body of the old witch and ate her. Okay, I'm thoroughly creeped out. Chad. And the duck is turning to face me. Great. Oh, I do not like this. Okay, can I get off? Swan's gingerbread and chocolate. Stay where you are. Over where? Alan, where did you go? <laughs> Stay where you are. I have no idea where to go. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Did you have to say that? Stop! Kill him! I have no idea where to go. Maybe this path? Oh, I don't like those lights. They're designed to look like eyes. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Another accident. This place. I have a feeling I'm supposed to look away when that happens. I don't know why. Just... A theory. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed for the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Anderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes very soon. I will know this has all been for nothing. Oh, boy. Is that... There's a bear. Is it... Callum, stay where you are! I can't do anything with that bear. Um, Come out, sweetie. I'm not gonna lie, that scared me.
That must be the twirly thing. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Okay. I'm going to be back in a moment. I need a quick breather. Okay, I'm back. I think this is going to be a case like of Layers of Fear where I'm going to need to take breaks a lot more often. I'm assuming I go into this ride next. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It make me dizzy report the guy just snapped those poor kids I went this report Atlantic Island Park is an officer on duty Sheriff F Bannerman put his name Creed Norma statement we were waiting for our turn on the ride Frank me and the boys this fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs Lawrence wanted to go over to him but I've always been a bit wary of those suits they give me the creeps it's silly I know Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal, a tiger or a lion. As more and more ice fell away, when we first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. The more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions, something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey. <sighs> the inventory pop-up just scared me. Uh, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. Then these teenagers walked up, and one of them made a face at the carpet and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab st stabbing with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Ugh. Okay, I'm. Stop, Callum! I'm guessing I go on the ride.
Ride Octatron. Uh, Alright, so decrease speed. Decrease more. Also, why would it be moving when the park's closed? Why is that a thing? Then there's a guy in the booth. Please tell me he's not still in there. It's not there. Polaroid? Oh, I remember this. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Alright, that's a save. I'm going to stop it here, just for the sake of my sanity. I will be playing more of this. I plan to go through to the end, but I need to stop here. I thought I might be able to go a bit further than the Octatron, but the uh, giant control guy kind of scared the piss out of me. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.